Covering news where you live, this is 5 News. Well, thank you for joining us here for the latest news where you live. I'm Joe Ellison. And I'm Tiffany Lee. Happening today, the Sheepdog Disaster Response Team are set to deploy to Sulphur, Oklahoma. Tornadoes tore through parts of that area last weekend. The team will be there until Sunday, May 5th. Now, if you want to volunteer and be a part of the Sheepdog Disaster Response Team, you can register at sheepdogia.org. And two bills that could change the future of cryptocurrency mining in Arkansas are heading to the governor's desk. One restores some state and local oversight over the noisy plants and allows the state public services commission to regulate them like utilities. The other limits foreign ownership in crypto data mines. The moves came after angry complaints and lawsuits last year when the legislature passed the Data Centers Act, which prevented local governments from restricting crypto businesses. And United Methodist delegates have repealed the church's longstanding ban on LGBTQ plus clergy members. At their general conference, which was their first in five years, delegates voted to take away both ban of LGBTQ members from being appointed as ministers, as well as a measure that wouldn't penalize a church for performing a same-sex wedding. Five News reporter Lauren Spencer has the impact. The historic ban on gay clergy and also gay marriage have been lifted. It's all about choice now for United Methodist Churches, Pastor Terry Gosnell says. The General Conference is not forcing anyone uh, to have a gay pastor or to perform a same-sex marriage. If the congregation uh, feels like they want to do that, then they have the choice. Wednesday's news, he says it's something he always hoped for. And I was just thrilled. He says his church, Trinity United Methodist Church in Fayetteville, has been a reconciling ministry since 2012, which means they welcome all people of any sexual orientation or gender identity. There were a lot of frustrated folks here uh, in our community that wanted to make sure that people especially the LGBTQ community in Fayetteville and in this area, had a place where they could go. He says these changes will hopefully make people feel more welcomed into their doors. It will give a signal to people that we are a place uh, where you're welcome and not just welcome, but affirmed. Reminding people Methodist churches can now do whatever they're called to do. It is a day that um, some of us are celebrating. There are some people that are sad and upset, and I wish them well, and I extend love to them because I believe that Jesus loves everyone. In Fayetteville, covering news where you live, Lauren Spencer, 5 News. We'll get to more news in just a minute. Yeah, but first, let's get a look with Zach on today's weather. Zach, rain in the forecast. Yeah, we're watching showers spread in from the south, uh, north across five country as we go through our Thursday. Scattered showers looking likely for us, especially late morning into the afternoon for northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Added cloud cover today, temperatures into the 70s. A rain fizzled out to our west, but we're watching scattered showers again, trying to fill in from south to north late morning into the afternoon. We'll see that scattered shower chance kind of hit its peak, and then overall the activity should start to uh, diminish and taper off as we go into the evening hours. The atmosphere will go into recovery mode. A cold front will be approaching from the north. Uh, but with the atmosphere in recovery mode, we may not see much from it. Still can't roll out a stray shower as we go overnight. We'll continue with the active pattern, uh, ladies, as we go into the weekend. The entire weather team will be watching it. Thanks for that, Zach. Well, today is the first day of the inaugural Wellness Festival. Now through Sunday, Crystal Bridges and the Momentary are hosting a series of meditations and panel discussions showcasing the connections between creative expression and personal health. The four-day festival kicks off this afternoon at 5.30 with a maternal health talk at Crystal Bridges. Tomorrow, the Momentary will feature wellness workshops and food demos. Then on Saturday, Crystal Bridges' newest exhibit, The Portal, an art experience by Jewel, opens to the public. All Day Sunday is a free community day with closing remarks by Alice Walton and Ariana Huffington. You can learn more about the festival and reserve tickets online at crystalbridges.org. And Live Nation is announcing plans to bring its annual concert week sales back later this month. 
The discount ticket sale starts in just under a week, running from May 8th to the 14th. Yeah, the Walmart Amp, which is where this is happening, say they expect to have general admission tickets to many of their summer concerts on sale for just $25, and they plan to, plan to announce that full lineup and soon. You can follow any updates from the Walmart Amp and find details on how to buy tickets on our website at 5 News Online. Com. Well, thank you for joining us here today for the latest news where you live. Catch up with us again this evening on your 5 News at 4, 5, and 6. Have a great day.